Ah, the Gilded Age, where technology aided the progression of capitalism. Advances in technology has greatly improved America and its economy. With the Industrial Revolution, America's use of its natural resources, the Transcontinental Railroad, along with many inventions, it's no wonder that the Gilded Age was such a successful time for groundbreaking and innovative technology. Nothing could be more true. With that being said, I'm Bethany. And I'm Julie. And we are here to talk about technology in the Gilded Age of America. So, the Industrial Revolution. Let's, uh, let's talk about that. Well, the Industrial Revolution was pretty much the first wave of technology and innovation that inspired America to pursue internal improvements. Right. Starting in the early 1800s and taking off after the Civil War, inventions were being made left and right to make everyday Americans' lives better. Let's hear about some of the earliest American inventions during the Industrial Revolution, shall we? Hey yo! As many of you know, the Industrial Revolution was an era of finding problems and creating machines to solve those problems. Some of the first inventions include the steam engine, the cotton gin, interchangeable parts, and the steamboat, all of which greatly improved the everyday lives of people living in the United States. And of course, this would eventually lead to the improvement of these machines, thus creating new ways for jobs to be made easier. Now that's innovation at its finest. Let's move on to the natural resources found in the United States. Coal, iron, oil, and steel were great influences to America's economy, all of which we as a country depend on and still continue to depend on today. Coal was pretty much the original fuel source for technology of the day. Coal was used to manufacture goods and power things such as steam engines, which power trains. Interestingly enough, coal was also used to make iron and steel. Iron was used to build the first railroads in America before they started using steel. With the discovery of new natural resources, oil wasn't used in the same way as it is today. That is, until the Gilded Age came about. Oil was then used for lamps, heaters, and it also brought a rise to the petroleum industry. And with the use of steel, better railroads were being built across the western part of the United States, eventually creating more jobs for manufacturing steel. Talk about a good business! Speaking of good business, great companies are emerging from capitalizing off the use of these natural resources and inventions. Andrew Carnegie, for instance, owned the largest steel company in America and became a very wealthy businessman through his company. He saw the potential in investing in such an important resource and built plants all across the country and completely invested himself into the Carnegie Steel Corporation. Technology pretty much influenced the economy during the Gilded Age. Speaking of steel, how about that transcontinental railroad? Finished in 1869 after six whole years of construction, the transcontinental railroad was the first of its kind to cross the nation from the Atlantic to the Pacific coast. By building this railroad, Americans were able to travel across the country safely without having to deal with the elements or the dangers of crossing a rough terrain. Well, thanks to the invention of the first train engines, transportation was revolutionized when trains started running in the 1830s. <laughs> Someone should go catch them. You're fired. Anyway, this shows just one of the instances in which technology connected people across America and gave way to the groundbreaking innovations we've come to know today. Bethany's right. Where would we be without the invention of telephones and radios and other things we have been accustomed to using in our everyday lives? We'd probably be sitting around, twiddling our thumbs and doing nothing but schoolwork. Even if we did have some technology, old people would still be nagging us about being too dependent on technology. As they would say, back in my day, we didn't have light bulbs, we read our school books by candlelight. Because... Older generations just love to make fun of the younger generations. That reminds me, this brings us to the topic of famous inventors and their inventions that helped shape America into what it is today. Most of us today have cell phones, but what led up to the creation of such a smart device? Well, Samuel F.B. Morse invented a single wire telegraph system, one of the earliest forms of long distance communication. Where would Alexander Graham Bell have gotten his inspiration if Morse hadn't invented the telegraph? And what would Steve Jobs have done without Bell creating the telephone? A 
really makes you think, doesn't it? Well, I recall Henry Besmer, inventor of the Besmer process, which was used to convert iron into steel. This allowed for the mass production of steel to build America from the ground up. Steel was a major building block of America, and we wouldn't be where we are today without it. And of course, let's not forget about Thomas Edison. He invented the phonograph and the widely used light bulb and changed the way of life for thousands of Americans. How could the invention of hearing aids have come about without the invention of the phonograph in the first place? Some other honorable mentions from this age of innovation are the typewriter, the cash register, the calculating machine, the adding machine, the Waterman fountain pen, the Gillette safety razor blade, and the George Eastman Kodak camera. I recognize most of those things that are still around today and are used in our everyday lives, either as an improved and more modern machine or just as it was when it was first invented. Precisely. So, even if technology has taken giant leaps forward since the Gilded Age, we do have to thank the Industrial Revolution, our use of natural resources, the Transcontinental Railroad, and the inventors of the time, as well as their inventions, for connecting people across America and improving their everyday lives. Without technology from the Gilded Age, our lives wouldn't be as great as they are today. The future is now, thanks to the past. And this brings our documentary to an end. Have a great day.